Hi Leos, thank you for viewing my channel. My name is Elena. Today I'm doing a general spread for you for love. I never know which direction I'm going. I don't know if it's going to be about new love or someone you're dealing with. I'm going to get five cards for your energies. It sounds like something you're going through or how you're feeling. The next row out is going to be the energies around you, meaning it could be about a person or something coming towards you. The last row out will be some guidance from my spirit guides. I am an intuitive tarot reader. I do start to feel things from the reading. I will say what I am feeling. It is a general reading, meaning it cannot resonate with everyone. Feel free to swap energies. And if you're a cross watcher, same thing, swap energies around. This is good for Leo's sun, rising moon, and Leo Venus. I'm going to get started right now. I have cleansed and shuffled all the cards. I'm going to start with the enchanted tarot cards. One more shuffle. Five cards for the strongest energies around Leo's for love. I'm going to cut it three times, and we'll begin. Okay, here we go. All right, Leo's, what do we got around you? Strongest energy. I have the princess of hearts. This is love energy, but this is about evaluating something. In this deck, if you could look at this princess, which is your energies, it's about evaluating words that were written or spoken. I don't know, that's where this is going. I have the two of wands. Fire energy, the two of wands is being at a crossroads about something that was spoken or words that were written. Do I want to move forward? Do I want to go back? Or shall I stay where I'm at? Middle card. I have the four of swords. Well, you've withdrawn. This is air energy. This card is about taking a time out. It's about rest, rejuvenate, think things over. Meditate. Next card out is I have the tower. Okay, I think I know where we're going now. This is only going to resonate with so many Leos, but the tower is a major arcana. It's an aha moment about something that was said or spoken from something that you're evaluating, deciding whether you want to go forward, go back, or stay where you're at, taking a major time out. I got one more card. And I have the Queen of Wands, fire energy, your energy. This is about standing in your power with determination, passion, and will. The Queen of Wands, all oh, the Queen's energy is beautiful. This Queen of Wands is fire energy, your energy, the charismatic queen, the beautiful queen, determined to get what that queen wants. I'm loving it already. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, let's see what we got here. I got the Four of Hearts with the Fool. Okay, all right. Okay, I'm going to stop right there. And then I have the Eight of Hearts. So if we go with the Four of Hearts, what I'm feeling from this is I feel that you gave your heart to somebody. You gave your heart to somebody, you know, and um, you don't feel that it's being reciprocated with the Fool here. And you have the Two of Wands. You're thinking about going in a new direction. This is a major arcana. It's zero, starting over, taking a new leap of faith. And then we have the eight of hearts, which is something that's not making you happy. It's time to let it go and walk away from something. But I am going to look in the energies around you right now, Leo. Okay, spirit guides, show me what I need to see for Leo's, the energies around them. This could be somebody you're dealing with, something that's coming towards you. I will know when the cards start to come out. Okay, Spirit Guys, what do we have for Leos, please? For love, one more shuffle. For April, what do you want to show me for Leos? What's around them and the energies for love in April? Thank you, Spirit Guides. What do you want to show me so I can tell Leos about the energies around them for love in the month of April? Please show me what I need to see. For my Leos out there, thank you. What do you want to tell me so I can tell Leos about the energies around them? Another person or the energies around them? What do you want to tell me so I can tell Leos? Thank you. Anything else you want to show me? Anything else I need to see for Leos out there? Thank you. Anything else? 
No, they're done. Bottom of the deck is the Three of Pentacles. It's about working to get to a triangle of a union. They call this the marriage card or just working on stability with the Eight of Swords underneath that. Someone being trapped in their thoughts, but they have a lot of hope and faith in a situation. The moon, things are just hidden with this person or situation going in a new direction, taking a new leap of faith with the sun, my beautiful Leos, because someone is sadly, sadly missing them. Five of Cups. I can keep going because this is how it's going to, this is what it does to me all the time. Knight of Swords, somebody's going to want to communicate because they feel a love connection. They miss you. Here we go. Start to my left. This is what I do. This is the energies around you. So it's somebody else. I have the hangman. I see an energy in here, but this is about someone feeling stuck. This is, the, the, this is somebody else. This is somebody feeling stuck. I'm going to find out what's going on here. Eight of Cups in reverse. Eight of Cups upright is about walking away. They're not walking away. Mm -mm. They're very stuck on you. They're stuck on it. They're stuck on it. They can't walk away from you. Hmm. What'd you do, Leo? Cast a spell? I got Justice, Libra Energy, Major Arcana. Somebody wants to come forth and speak the truth so the scales will be balanced with you, Leos. Here it comes, the Knight of Wands, fire energy. But the energy around you is somebody wants to come in. The Knights are about the Knight on one mission, fire energy. This is the passionate hot pony. Wants to come in, try to even the scales, speak with you because they're stuck because they can't walk away because you're their wish. Hmm. Next card out is I have the Ace of Pentacles. Earth energy, but this is a solid brand new beginning. Mm -hmm. Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords upright is about its completion. It's over. In reverse, like I said, they're not over you. Hmm. What's that last card out? I have the page of cups, new eager water energy, nervous energy, because somebody isn't over you, wants a solid beginning. They're stuck. They want to speak the truth so the scales will be balanced. It's going to come flying out of nowhere with that knight of wands once that mission is determined. You know, the knights are all about one mission. This knight Fire energy, your energy, they're coming in towards their Leo because they can't walk away with that Eight of Cups in reverse. <laughs> Listen, it's a general reading. And if you're a cross watcher, energies can be reversed. I mean, I can only see so much for so many people, you know, but uh, I got a funny feeling here. I'm going to do one more row out from some guidance from my spirit guides, Leo. This is either your story or it's not. You know, if it's not your story, catch me next time. I'm always, uh, I don't know, I'm just a messenger. I just, whatever my spirit guides want to show me. Spirit guides, what kind of guidance do we have for my Leos out there for the month of April for love about these energies? What do you want to tell my Leos? One more shuffle. About these energies. What kind of guidance for my Leos, please? What do you want to tell my Leos about these energies? What kind of guidance? Do you want to tell my Leos out there? What do you want to tell Leos about these energies, please? Any guidance? Thank you. Anything else you want to tell Leos? Thank you. Any other guidance you have from my Leos, please? Thank you. Anything else you want to tell them? Thank you. Anything else? Thank you. Thank you. Anything else from my Leos out there? Anything else you want to say to my Leos? Nope. Okay, well, I have the Six of Swords, but that doesn't mean a whole lot. The card that fell on the floor is the one I always start with. Leos. I got the Ace of Cups. I got the Ace of Love. New beginning in love. Because right next to that, Leos, is I have the Page of Cups. I don't know. I think for Leos out there who are waiting for someone to come in because you have that knight of wands from somebody else's energy 
they're coming because they're not over you and they can't walk away. But if you are over somebody and you're looking for new love, either way, I got somebody, young energy, new eager energy, water energy, trying to give you that cup for a new beginning in love. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Next card out, I'm gonna look over here because it's staring at me, is I have the two of pentacles. This is earth energy, but it's about juggling. This person, whoever you're dealing with, and if it's, you're not dealing with somebody, you got something new coming in here. But you got somebody going back and forth because they're scared as heck. They can't walk away from you. They don't think it's over. Hold on. I got the seven of wands <laughs> with the tower. You got you. This is a person who is very hurt and upset about an aha moment, something that was destroyed. The seven of wands, fire energy, your energy, is about you having the bigger stick, that things that come at you from a tower moment because you had the tower in your energies up on top. Mm -hmm. Still have two more cards. I have the nine of pentacles and this is about mastering who and what you are. This is about achieving who and what you are from an aha moment that you've had constant battles with. You've achieved your stability because the queen of wands is in that top row, your energy. You are the queen of fire, determination, passion, and will. In that last card out is I have the eight of cups, but it's sideways. So the person's energies was in reverse. They're, they're, not, they're not walking away. And with the ten of swords in reverse, this person is not walking away from you and they're just trying to muster up the determination to come in. You know, I mean, with the Eight of Cups, the last card out sideways, my spirit guides want me to tell you, this is your decision. This is your decision. Do you want to walk away or do you want to go back? Because the ball is going to be in your court. I don't know. It's only going to resonate with so many Leos. But remember, Leos, I got that Page of Cups coming in with that brand new love. It's water energy. It doesn't mean it's a water sign. It's just the cards telling me somebody's coming in to offer you a beginning in love. I think maybe you're going back and forth about it because with the tower moment, you know, and the seven of wands, because the tower is actually in reverse in front of me. So I don't know if it came out that way, but uh, what I'm just feeling from it is somebody is, kind of like battling with an ending or an aha moment. With the Nine of Pentacles here, you've achieved who and what you are. With this sideways, it's telling me that there's going to be some Leos who are going to walk away from it and there's going to be some Leos who are going to go back. I don't know. Either way, you have a new beginning in love. I mean, with the Page of Cups here and that Ace of Cups, you know, if you don't want to go back, you got something new coming in. If you want to go back, it's a new beginning in love because whoever you were dealing with is not over you. That's all I'm going to say. I don't know. Either way, Leos, I think you got something new coming in, a new beginning or a new start or a redo. I don't know. Spirit guides, what do you want to tell my Leos out there, please? One card, please. What do you want to tell my Leos? What kind of guidance do we have for my Leos today, please? What do you want to tell my beautiful? Woo! Wow. Okay, I guess they have a lot to say. Okay, I got the seven of Michael, my first card out. This is what my spirit guides want to tell you, Leos. Please listen. This is guidance from my spirit guides. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. So I think with the Eight of Cups sideways, it's just telling me review everything before you go back. I have the Empress. Mm -hmm. Time to act upon your plans. Creativity is rewarded, luxurious or abundant resources. So those Leos out there who have been trying to create something for themselves, everything is coming in, whether it's with somebody from the past or somebody new. Last card out, they have the Eight of Ariel for you, my beautiful Leos. 
Take great pride in your excellent work because you did master yourself. My spirit guides are saying you've mastered who and what you are. Practice makes perfect. So I guess if you didn't get it right, we'll get it right this time. Consider getting additional education or training. I think it's just saying think, think, think before you do anything rash. It's really your call whether you want to go back or not, Leos. This is what I have for you, but somebody doesn't think it's over and they're not walking away. It's really your call. You had the eight of cups sideways. I don't know. I think there's Leos out there who are on the fence about it. Either way, you have the page of cups with that ace of cups. You got something new coming in, Leos. I don't know, a new beginning or somebody just getting their nerve up to offer you that cup. Thank you for viewing me today, Leos. It is a general reading. Take what resonates, leave out what doesn't. If you are new here and resonated and you enjoyed it, please leave me a comment, like, subscribe, and thank you to all the Leos who have already. And Leos, have a beautiful day. Thank you.